I follow Jesus of Nazareth, thought I may make religion. You gotta be different if you wanna go out and make a difference, uh huh. People keep on talking about which way to go. I don't pay attention cause I already know And I've been reading red letters, I've been taking the notes And now we move should be louder than the words that we spoke And what we do is gonna go push them to the antidote It's steady watching how we live like it's the true man show yeah. Everything I have belongs to you I'ma stand still and I'ma watch you move Wanna show the world what you can do yeah. So I won't let the rocks fly, rocks fly out I'll be shouting, oh yeah Process that's gonna lead to the promise. The invocation of the light is something we got in common. I'm on it, I've been tripping. Walking paths uncharted, disheartened by the majesty. Of the views from a starship, I'm heartless and I'm two faced. Feel like I'm the departed, regardless, I might have to keep my mentality sharp and he's off the map. And they can't save him. My identity is born now. Matt Damon, I'm dangerous. Excuse me, I don't think you heard what we were saying. I'm focused on escaping this pain, but that's just me. So worship is the death of to myself and to my ego. Crying out to God, only He can set me free. So rich man can't pass through the eye of a needle. Need to kill off all of my pride and my attachment. Laid at the foot of the cross and backpack it. Pilgrim's progress, and now I'm a has been creator and a coil with Christ. Be on average, holy Stonebrook season Walking in our car now Put all my money on the altar Bless us far down Ain't no more in the street Heaven sound now Praise you forever Glory to the King of Kings I praise your name You're everything to me Worship you forever Yeah Woo. I'm a shout told me From the rooftop That demon run up on me Kid him too shy had a conversation with my father up in heaven. He said he praising my name till your day drop. Hard talk, time to live it. Worship can't stop. Dancing like David, now I'm wearing the tank top. Kingdom of the heaven, going to the top. Our Majesty, I praise the King. You are holy. You are holy. You are holy. Holy is your name. Hey, what's up, Zach? Uh, been missing you on the mats, man. And uh, just wanted to share some thoughts with you. And uh, I was thinking the other day, I was telling somebody the first time I met Zach, first time I met you, man, I was like, I heard about you training at night. And I, you know, I've always trained in the morning in the early bird. And I come in, and it's kind of, I think it was, you trained a little bit before COVID, but I didn't know you too much, too well. But after COVID, I remember coming back after my injury and all of a sudden I see this guy in here just working everybody and kicking everybody's ass. And, you know, <laughs> that's when I met you, man. And I got, uh, 
I got introduced to your intensity and your skill. So I just wanted to share with you, man, how uh, in how much of an impact you've had on me personally. Just obviously with what you've been going through and just your your will to just thrive, honestly, both on and on and off the mat. Yeah. I mean, right away, I knew you were a fierce competitor. Um, you were just destroying me in, in rounds. I think I'm, I was always on the defense with you, and I really learned a lot in that regard, in that, man, there's a guy that just studies a lot. He's super ultra-focused on jiu-jitsu and just puts in the mental effort in the study and the, in the craft. So I've always respected you for that, man. And I always, I mean, I take little bits of pieces of everyone, of my friends and the classes and students, and that's just something I, I always hold in my heart with you in particular, is just your, that yeah, ultra extreme focus. And I think that's what makes you such a great competitor. Um, and the intensity, you know? Um, we do our Kimura sit-ups lately, in class when we do that warm up and I see people like half assing through the Kimura sit ups and I always, you know, sometimes I'll call out, hey, Zach, you know, do you want me to show you or tell you how Zach does these Kimura sit ups? Because uh, I just remember looking over one time at you doing Kimura sit ups and I've never seen somebody do them so fast. And I was like, this guy puts 100% intensity into everything. And I think that's a testament to your your success, man. I mean, in terms of competition, I like I told you before, I've said it before publicly, I mean, you are one of the greatest competitors I've ever seen, man. Just, you are just so ultra intense. You have a great positive attitude in competing. And, um, you know, that translates well to others. So people see that. It's very motivating. Um, as I shared with you, I mean, it was you and I when you were competing on the at your brown belt tournament. Um, man, it was something to see. It was a moment I'll never forget because I've watched a lot of competitions and I've seen people just basically in tough situations either stall or let themselves go or give up. And if there was ever a time to give up for you in particular with what you're going through, that would have been the time. But I remember, I'll never forget the moment when I like literally looked in your eyes. I was like, from me to the camera here, three, four feet, and you were holding on to like a quarter guard, man, just holding on with dear life, which is not a typical position for you, you know? I mean, you're used to dominating. But in that, in that moment, I just saw you in your eyes that you were not gonna give up. I mean, I looked, it was like you were looking into my soul saying, there's no way I'm giving this up as much as you were struggling. And that to me is like the true testament of just somebody with pure desire and, and focus on the ultimate goal. And that, I'll never forget that moment. Um, it, it was very impactful for me, man. And I just wanna say how much I admire you and respect you tremendously. And I'm always gonna look up to your jujitsu skills and the person you are on the mats. And, I'm just really happy. I've, I'm so stoked that you came in and became part of the early bird class because um, you know you trained a lot of the times before early bird. At night, I didn't even know who you were, so it was kind of like um, I'm just so happy that you came in and started immersing yourself in the morning class because I never train at night, so. Thankfully, you came into the morning, found a second family or another another family in the mornings. It really became part of what we're all about here. So I wanted to thank you personally for just, man, just inspiring so many people at the gym. And, you know, I'm always wishing you the best, um, hoping for the best for you. And you've made a tremendous impact on my life so far, and I hope you continue to do so for the rest of my life. So. Um, Man, I wish you were here on the mats with us today, buddy, but I hope this video gives you some sense of um, warmth in terms of how much people admire you and miss you, man. So, peace, brother. What up, Zach? Miss having you here, bro. Hasn't been the same without you. Just want to say, we love you, man. We miss you. 
I want you to know what a beast you are, man. We all talk about how much you handled this with grace, and I pray someday when I face the same challenges I can handle in the way you have, man. Super impressive. But I just want to edify you, dude. You're the, one of the toughest dudes I've ever met in my life. One of my first memories of training with you, dude, is after COVID, we were shut down for a couple months, and I think prior to that, we maybe trained one time in open mats or something, but I didn't ever really roll with you. And I remember after COVID, when we opened back up, not many of us came back. There was just a handful of us, but you were there every morning, man. And I was so excited to get back to training that I was there every morning and we partnered up. I'm sure you remember it almost every day. And after about a week or two, of just getting demolished by you, man, and dominated. I went home and I was like, geez, did all my jujitsu go away in those short couple months? I felt like I was back before a white belt. And it felt horrible. And then I just realized, what a monster you are, man, and how good your jiu-jitsu was. And there was just a huge mental shift from trying to beat you or even keep up with you, but just trying to learn from you, man. And I learned so much from you, dude. You just have, I've always said it, you got the best knee shield in the game. From a blue belt, dude, it was like rolling with black belt, man. I rolled with black belts that were way easier rolls than you, and I'll never forget. My picture of you in my mind will always be you and knee shield, no grips leaning back, chilling, smiling, laughing at me as I'm working 110%, dripping sweat and dying, dude. Just want you to know, man, you're an inspiration, bro. I just, I, I don't think you'll ever realize how much you've meant to my life, my jiu-jitsu, but so much more than that, you're a brother in the Lord, man, and just watching you go through this, the way you have has just been, it's been amazing, man. And I'm not saying it's the end, bro, so please don't give up. I know the Lord can do miracles and what a testimony it would be right now for him to, for all these people who don't know the Lord here, to see that healing, Lord. And that's what I pray for. So I pray every day that the Lord will use you to testify of himself in this gym and just in your sphere of influence all, all together. But man, I love you, bro. But like I said, bro, we're praying you get better. We love you, dude. You'll always be a brother. And if you ever need anything, man, your family's our family. We love you, man. Stay strong, brother. Hey, Zach. You know, I haven't had the uh, uh, privilege of knowing you as much as a lot of these other guys that have been out injured uh, for my time with some injuries. Uh, but I gotta say, when first time I came to roll with you, um, I was like, oh, okay, who's this blue belt? And then within about five minutes, I knew exactly who this blue belt was. And to see you progress as quickly as you have, to see your knowledge base, and just to see your impact um, through your illness, and um, to see your determination and the fight in you has been so inspiring to me. And I think about it, you affect me, not just here in the gym, but outside of here, in my life, you have affected me. When things are getting tough, and I've had some rough spots in my life lately, I think battle like Bitcoin. And I'm still battling for you, but you're in my prayers. I'm not someone who prays. But you're in my prayers. You're in my heart, and I'm pulling for you. And I got genuine love for you. And I uh, hope you can still fight through this and battle through this, because we're all fighting for you, bud. Peace. Love you. Hey Zach, just want to start by saying happy birthday, uh, and I just wanted to mention some of the things that uh, I remember about our jiu-jitsu, like com watching you compete, watching you train. Myself, I've been a competitor for the last 10 years or so, and one thing that I've always wanted to be is uh, aggressive when it comes to submissions and trying to trying to uh, do the exciting part of jiu-jitsu, which is finishing fights, and a lot of times we just want to win matches. and. When I watch you train or, or compete, you're always going for it. You're always taking the risk that I feel like I don't take enough. So I, over the past six months or a year or so, I've been trying to work that into my game. And you know, I don't want to hold back, especially when I'm not competing. Is like sometimes I wonder why didn't I go for that submission? Why didn't I uh, try that technique that I wanted to try? And when I watch you, I know that you usually do that. So you've motivated me to. To just go for it, and maybe not so much just all only in jujitsu. You know, uh, in life too. I think uh, it's really easy when you teach jujitsu just to be comfortable. Like, 
I have a pretty cool job, you know, and I don't have to reach for too much more because it's already fun, but I feel like I want to start building my career a little bit more and reaching for my goals, uh, not only just teaching, but outside of jiu-jitsu. And so I, I think I attribute a lot of that to watching the way that you compete and the way that you roll. So uh, again, happy birthday, man, and uh, we all love you. Getting here. You know how I've been. Just dodging. You know. I walk in here and I don't see you in the corner. Doing your leg sweep in the morning. In your purple gear. And I think, man. I'm so lucky to have had that time with you. And you taught me so much. All these stripes with my belt. Sometimes I feel like I couldn't go on, but then I reflect on all the energy and the time you put in for me. And I can't throw that away. So I just want you to know that you keep me going. And I know that your fight is nothing that any of us can imagine. So I don't know if I could offer you any words other than that day in the parking lot when you gave me that, that trophy of yours. I still, I still have it. And I just think when you looked in my eyes and you said, it's okay, you know, I'm ready. I never forget that because you, you show us how to behave like a warrior in this situation. And I, I hope one day I can be a warrior just like you. I love you, Zach. And no matter where our journey takes us, your spirit will always be here on this map with me and with all of everybody here at GD. I, I, I truly believe that. And I love you, bro. That was awesome. Sorry, Jeremy. I don't know if that was the way that was, to go. That was fantastic. Hey, Zach. Just wanted to say hi and uh, say we miss you so much. I miss you, brother. Uh, you've been an inspiration to me. Uh, just, uh, I'm so impressed with how you just go live here, your belief in God and uh, sharing your faith. Thank you so much for that. And, uh, Thank you for everything you've helped me out in jiu-jitsu. Killer on the mat, brother. Killer on the mat. I just love that. I love training with you. I love how you uh, just show me all these little details and how your mind works and just inspires my jiu-jitsu so much. Thank you for all the knowledge you shared with me. And uh, again, thank you for you know your posts on Facebook. Again, for your uh, belief in God and for sharing your faith uh, and, and Him and in Christ. And, and just thank you. Um, I appreciate you, brother. I love you very much. And I hope you... Uh, I want to let you know that, okay, brother? And also, Zach, you're the help, bigger reason to help me out with getting a black belt, too. Thank you so very much. Uh, and I love you, brother. Hey, Zach. Uh, George here. Uh, kind of when I was asked to do this, uh, wanted to think about you, think about our relationship, training together, my interactions with you, and uh, for the first time I got to really, really meet you. We rolled together, you smashed me, and uh, we've been friends ever since. You pushed me to get better at Jiu Jitsu. Uh, I never competed for a while, and then you started competing, and you kind of inspired me to start pushing it harder, and it's been great. Uh, but most of all, um, I got to know you a little bit better, know your family a little bit better, and 
was comforted to know and encouraged to know that, like myself, you know, we are sinners saved by grace in Christ. You are in Christ, you are a Christian. Um, and since we got the news of, you know, your health, every interaction I've had with you, I've been, you know, checking in, saying hi. And you've always had a peace about you. And the King, you know, brings to mind, uh, you know, Romans 14, 7. You know, none of us living to ourselves, none of us dying to ourselves. Whether we live or we die, we are the Lord's. And that's like the Westminster Catechism. You know, what's our goal in life and death? Because we are not our own, but we belong to God. You embody that peace. And every time I get to hang around you, I'm humbled by that on the level. Frivolous, spooky stuff in life that throws us off and takes our eyes off Christ. Uh, when I get to hang out with you for this, you know, time you're going through, it puts out all that, all that aside. Uh, it's been a blessing to train with you, hang out with you. Wish I could hang out with you more. Wish I could have got to know you sooner. Hang out with you more. Um, just to be a part of your journey, you need to be a part of my And uh, I tell you, I love you. And, uh, just locking horns and training, sweating, and trying to bang one another up and choke one another, that's when you become very close to people. And uh, I felt like I would become very close to you and wish, hope oh, it could have happened sooner. But love you, brother. My Brother in Christ, my Jiu Jitsu brother and family. God oh, bless. Happy birthday, Zach. So, I wanted to share a really special memory that I have about you. And it is when I was so nervous for Master Worlds. I had such anxiety. And I was talking to you about that. And you sent me the most beautiful, heartfelt message to help me with my anxiety. And it meant the world to me. I read it before I competed, and the thing that's so special about it is I will have that message forever. And before every competition, I'm always going to read that to help calm me down and to know that you're behind me, supporting me, and believing in me. Thank you so much for that. Your words mean so much to me. Happy birthday, my friend. So I've known Zach for, I don't know how many years, several years, and uh, I remember when, I first, when he first started coming in to, to class, in the morning class, he would start, start off doing his foot sweeps to get warmed up while everyone else was talking, and, and then uh, you know, we'd go through the class. And right off the bat, he was a big challenge for me to roll with. And uh, eventually, um, he was tapping me, and I would have him teaching classes whenever I could to try and figure out what the heck he was doing. He seemed to have some kind of a guard that was it was like a wall. And uh, I also found my time outside the class looking up on YouTube, different ways to uh, deal with uh, like a 93 guard, because it, it was just like this puzzle I couldn't figure out. And then um, he had the news one day that uh, he, had, he was diagnosed with, with the cancer. And uh, all the way up to the treatment, it was the same thing. He was like, impossible to deal with on the mat. The nicest guy ever, but such a challenge. And then he went away for, for treatment for a while and, and we didn't know um, if he's gonna be coming back, if, if uh, he'd be allowed to. And he came back and I remember driving to class thinking, okay, I've, I've been uh, looking up YouTube this whole time, trying to be prepared, you know, trying to learn what, what it was he was doing. And I thought, well, we'll roll light when we first roll, if he's gonna roll that day. And uh, I think it was an open end mat, probably. And um, he just tore me up from the start. And uh, you know, as soon as we shook hands, he he has this intensity about him, but it's also this calmness. And it's just like this pure technique. He's always studying jujitsu, and it, it's like beautiful how he does things seemingly so effortlessly. He knows what you're doing, and 
And I think I know what I'm what, what I'm doing because I've been at I asked him afterwards, what are you what are you doing? And he, he's always willing to help and help anybody. He's like he's like uh, it's so nice and it's so nice having in him in the classes and, and learning from him and training with him and then also having him as a friend. Um, I, I uh, went out with uh, Zach and Jim and then Nock and Polo several months ago. We did an escape room and I introduced everyone to my girlfriend. We went out to eat and uh, I thought it was going to be a relaxing thing and then um, and we get to this escape room and they told us it's the second most difficult escape room in Arizona. And uh, I thought it was going to be fun. And Jack and Jim show up with these headlamps and, and like a notepad, and they're like totally like um, it was fun. But I never he had that same intensity, and so did Jim. It was uh, <laughs> I was afraid to touch anything. I felt like I was in the crime scene, and and it was just some bystander. And I would still be in that room if it wasn't for them. It was uh, that was crazy. That was. Um, those were the first friends that I had introduced my wife, my girlfriend to. And uh, I couldn't have picked a better group of friends to make a good impression on her. Um, and uh, I just have to say I learned a lot of things from Zach. I, I learned a lot of things from Zach. I've never seen anyone with so much faith as he has, which has made him, and maybe that's the source of this power he has, that he, he um, has this like, he's so vibrant, he has so much love, um, and such a gentleness, balanced with this like intensity to get things done. He's, he's, um, he's amazing. And my mom knows about him, my, my boys know about him, I go home and tell them about this guy who um, is going through this enormous challenge and he comes here and it's, you, know, you wouldn't know it and he's, he's just this, uh, it's just amazing. And it's amazing what he's accomplished going through all this, he's accomplished things that people in their prime and, and uh, who train all their lives for. For to compete, couldn't accomplish what he's accomplished. And yet he did it with this this burden that he was able to power through. And I think it's maybe it's his faith. I, I don't know what it is, but it, he's he's amazing, and and I love you, Zach. I really do. Hey, hey You being my big brother and someone to look up to and just feel comfort through knowing that you've always had my back. But also for loving so deeply and encouraging all the time. Bringing me here through your passion, giving me the opportunity because I probably wouldn't have had done otherwise, which I know I won't. Um, thank you for uh, being so strong. And I know you think it's uh, just you because you are that way, but I know it's true. God, uh, giving you the strength. You know you wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for the strength that he's given you. Um, even though I know you're that strong. Um, but I know your strength for life is in you, God. Thank you for teaching me this community. Seek him for strength. Always making sure you finish through anything you start. <laughs> Finishing anything you start. Um, 
and you just don't stop until you've conquered that. And I think that's something that everyone should have a drive to do and a passion to do in the beginning of the year. I love you very much. Happy birthday. <laughs> Should have started off with that, but happy birthday. And Hey Zach, I don't know if you uh, remember this, but I was, I've been thinking about it lately. Um, but in February when I had tore my pec at the Jiu Jitsu tournament, you were actually coaching me the matches before I had uh, tore it. So you had coached me my first and second match, and then my third match you were still there, but Gustavo finally came. And I just remember I had tore it in like the last minutes, and I'm freaking out inside in my head. I'm like, what, what just happened? What am I gonna do? I'm like, I can't even tie my belt, so I'm like scared inside. I'm like, I can't let anyone see, but I'm like, it's visibly, you can see on my face. I was pretty nervous. And they, they raise my hand and I get off the mat and you're the first person I see getting off the mat. And I just remember you told me, you're like, so no open class, huh? And like, for that moment, I totally forgot that I just tore my peg and I, it made me laugh. It calmed me down, so I wasn't freaking out in front of everybody when I stepped off the mat, so I really appreciated that. But I just wanted to tell you that when I tore my peg, I was thinking about you a lot. And just seeing how you dealt with adversity really helped me with your positivity and just how you, your mental toughness, it really inspires me to just always push through whatever is trying to keep me down. So I really appreciate that. And I, I always thought that you brought like a positive mindset to whatever you did in the gym when we were rolling. It's just, it's so, it's so good that I can see that because I was, I was being a huge baby when I tore my peg, but thinking about you and how tough you are, it just inspires me to be more like you in, in, that, in that way. And I want to just be as positive as you've always been because you really showed me how far positivity and mental toughness can get. So thank you for that, Zach. Zach, happy birthday and congratulations on your black belt promotion. I can think of nobody else that displays the Bushido quality of a black belt better than yourself. You've inspired uh, everybody ar around you and your accomplishments uh, on the mat, in competition, and just being the ideal training partner and friend. So again, congratulations. Enjoy your day and we love you and hope to see you soon. Hey Zach. Congrats on the black belt, man. Nobody more deserving than you. Um, I remember started training together. I think I was a blue belt. You were hard, you were still a white belt. But um, man, from day one, you were always tough. Your guard, your top game, um, I just knew, man. <laughs> I just knew this guy is something else. Um, and now, um, man, I'm pretty ha so happy for you to get your black belt. Um, obviously, super sad to not be able to see you in the mats lately. Um, I know there was a stretch there last year where you came back and and um, and you competed, won that gold. Man, it's, I keep telling this story, but nothing short of miraculous for me to actually see you out there compete, give it your best, even after just a recent treatment on on your condition. Um, I got to see him, man. It really lit up a switch in me that moment, just before my match. So. Um, yeah, super inspiring for me to see. Getting emotional right now to think about it, but. Uh, yeah, man. I'm praying for you every day. Um, and I hope to see you back soon. I think about you a lot every time we're out there rolling every tournament. Um, so. I thank God 
for for that moment. Like I said, in that tournament, the last one, um, I think it's like AZ Southwest. So, um, yeah, man. Keep my eyes up